It's Saturday as per usual, and each week offers up something different, I think, in our lives. And this week particularly, um, this one phrase, I guess you could say, has kind of been on my mind a little bit more than... Um, this one phrase has just been on my mind, and that is delayed gratification. Now, delayed gratification break it up into the two words delayed just a response or something that is <sighs> takes a little bit more time than usual gratification and these are my own definitions <laughs> gratification to me can mean a few different things but I think gratification is more than just pleasure, of course. Gratification is something deep. It's something which gratifies you, which satisfies you, almost sounds like, but a little bit more than satisfies. Um, not here to define words or anything, but I think that in specifically we will talk about endurance sports, um, whether you're running or um, any sports in general. Delayed gratification is something that we should all be thinking about. And even in life, too, of course, delayed gratification is something that we should think about. And it's something that it was something that was proposed to me in the sense of how much delay are you willing to put on your gratification? <clears throat> now, what we mean by that is delays and gratification is different to each person. How much time are we willing to put on our hopes? in our dreams. Um, how long are we willing to wait? So that amount of time is different for everybody and what we're hoping to achieve or what we're hoping to be gratified by is different for everybody. And so, you know, we're here and you know, whether you're working towards a career, or you're working towards a family, or you're working towards um, a time goal in track and field, or um, a certain level of fitness, whatever it is, you know, you're working towards something. And so now we need to be aware of well, is it ever coming? How long are we willing to wait? And if it does come, was it worth the wait? Was it what we were expecting it to be? And that's a hard question to answer because it's the future and nobody knows 
what the future holds, of course. And so you have to have this balance, or I have to have this balance, I'll talk to him for myself, of not suffering too much right now and still enjoying myself now so that it's not, you know, because you still got to live a good life. You still got to enjoy your life. You know, it's not all about, of course, the end goal of the gratification. And, you know, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? And is it coming? Is it what you're going to be hoping it, it to be? And do you need to get some gratification now? Do you need to um, change what it is? You, do you need to be more realistic with yourself? And that is something that kind of made me stop and think. And, you know, a lot of us, we don't know, right, if it's worth it. Um, so, and, it, and it, it goes back to, to the sense and to, to the idea of, you know, just enjoy, enjoying it, enjoying now, right? And that's a difficult thing to do um and it's a scary thing not knowing if things will pay off um you know i don't have nobody has answered answers to your delayed gratification um only only time will tell if it was worth it and if it is what it you hoped it would be And so, to cut back on a less serious note, you know, maybe you'll, you're thinking about delayed gratification in your own life. Um, today is, is, another, is, is another day, um, another Saturday. I've been working towards it this entire week. I just spoke on myself. And... And so today I want to do a hard bike workout and a hard run workout. And I've been, I've turned into a bit of an indoor gremlin lately and don't want to go outside at all. I'm going to be doing my bike workout inside just because I absolutely hate, um, I've been hating, I just don't like getting my bike, I just don't like my bike setup. Okay. I just don't like it, and it's so much easier and convenient to do it on the trainer. But I want to still try and run outside today. And um, so we'll see what happens, and we'll continue with this video. And we'll get this bike workout in. Um, I'll let you know what it is that we're doing when I figure it out. All right, I've finally decided. It's, uh, it's time to work out on the bike. Going to be doing a workout. All right, so all right, let's just do it. It's getting uh, later in the day. So wish me luck. Halfway done. Getting sweaty in here, dude. All right, just finished my ride. Very sweaty. Um, just did an hour and a half. Um, for about like 30 miles an hour and a half averaged some watts doesn't really matter I guess my longest ride in a long time and I suppose if you look at it pretty good ride 
um, you know, super sweaty and hot in here. Um, honestly, like, the trainer's pretty enjoyable. I don't know if I'm just, like, getting at the base of what exercise really is, <laughs> or if I just don't really have anybody to go right outside with. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, I, I pretty much just, you know. So anyways, I'm gonna take a little bit of a rest and eat some food, then go on a run a little later today. Um, geez, I'm so sweaty, dude. Like I said, we're out here and going for my run. I'm going to be doing a six mile progression run. I'm going to be doing it on the treadmill because as you can see here, it's four o'clock and the sun is heading below the earth. And so I'm going to warm up though outside while I can still enjoy the, the outdoors and then just going to uh, run on the treadmill. It's gonna do, yeah, I already said it. So I'm gonna warm up now. That was a rather, uh, you know, intense day, but I'm very satisfied with how it went. So did the six mile progression. At mile five, I, um, I think I, I got down to 527 and I did mile five at, at that pace. And then, uh, you know, I felt like I was, um, extending it too far and I didn't want to be going that hard. So last mile I cranked it back a little bit, but still a really solid effort. Did So eight miles on the day, mile warm up, mile cool down. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, things are going along and feeling uh, happy about training again and um, just kind of free to do what I want. And um, I guess that's what's enjoyable about it, even though I'm training inside like 90%. Um, but it doesn't matter because I just enjoy it. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will uh, catch you guys soon.